The Simpleton's Guide! Hello, and welcome to The Simpleton's Guide. Because simple is better. Today we're going to be talking about energy efficiency. That's the attempt to design things like light bulbs, appliances, cars, and even whole factories so they can maintain their performance while using less energy. That, in turn, saves the owner money. There can be environmental gains from energy efficiency as well. A car engine that gets better mileage saves on tailpipe emissions. Similarly, a washing machine that uses less hot water or a light bulb that uses fewer watts reduces the demand for electricity, which is produced most often in the U.S. by burning coal. Increasingly efficient new products, then, can be a double advantage for consumers and the environment. Of course, that advantage only materializes under two conditions. If the new products maintain their original levels of safety and performance, and eventually save enough money over time to justify the purchase price. In many cases in which the government has tried to force the production of more energy efficient products, however, it's become clear that these conditions have not been met. With cars, for example, the federal government requires that new models, on average, meet a certain minimum gas mileage. That has led car makers over the years to make lighter cars, which, while more fuel efficient, are also less safe. According to a report from the National Academy of Sciences, federal fuel economy regulations contribute to over 2,000 traffic deaths a year. Or take the case of washing machines. According to Consumer Reports, federal regulations to make them more fuel efficient have resulted in new models that don't get a load of clothes clean on the first wash. High performing washers are still available, but now far more expensive, pricing lower income families out. Finally. Take the simple light bulb. Some efficiency advocates want to ban the traditional incandescent light bulb and require everyone to use new fluorescent ones. The fluorescent bulbs do use less electricity and do last longer, but are far more expensive up front. More importantly, many consumers simply prefer the kind of light generated by an incandescent bulb, regardless of the long-term energy savings. None of this is to say that energy efficient products are inferior to their predecessors, or even that we shouldn't make certain trade-offs to obtain those extra energy savings. The real point is that most new technologies do have trade-offs, and consumers should be allowed to decide for themselves what they want to give up in the name of efficiency. Both consumers and businesses have incentives to invest in technologies that are more energy efficient. If these new products are really as good as their cheerleaders say, the last thing we would need is laws requiring companies to make them, or consumers to buy them. That's been The Simpleton's Guide. Until next time, keep it simple.